At the very beginning of Unbound, when we started doing some of our outreach, we were going into the juvenile detention center. And that was actually where we first encountered one of the survivors that we were able to work with. And she was only 15 years old at the time, and she was just an incredible young girl. And we learned um, as we continued our relationship with her that she had been involved in the law for running away. She ran away multiple times. Um, running away had caused her to end up um, in the hands of individuals who had moved her across state lines um, all the way to Florida and back and Alabama, Louisiana. And so all of these various places that um, she experienced um, from running away, um, she always ended up back in Texas, but she had definitely been involved in trafficking um, during those years and suffered enormous abuse um, during those, that time period. We started engaging with her in the juvenile detention center. She had come from a childhood of trauma and abuse. And we continued to walk with her through her time in the juvenile detention center, um, when she was released from juvenile detention center, when she then was picked up on another charge and was um, put back into adult jail. We were with her still. We were able to get her released from there and transferred to a long-term shelter where she could receive counseling and education. And all of this um, was walking with this particular survivor over the course of several years. Um, and so she's been part of our program um, and continues to be part of our program. But the steadiness of the relationship and the consistency is a key piece to the advocacy that we provide. Uh, we, we provide relationships that last through all of the different systems that individuals are engaged with. We um, last through all of the ups and downs, through running away, through coming back. Um, our advocates are the one constant. They're the one piece that remains. And we are often um, the one person that this individual can trust and rely on no matter what. Unbound is holistic in walking with the survivors through what it looks like for their healing restoration. That has ups and downs. It gets difficult at times for them to walk through this healing, but Unbound is there and it's survivor led where um, it may take a long time for them to reach different stages and their healing process. But from going, working with her from a youth and a juvenile through adulthood where she had, she's learning that she gets to make the choices in her healing and what she's getting to focus on. And we just support through that and continue until she's reached where she feels like she's got it on her own or she doesn't need Unbound. But as long as she's willing to work with us and have us in the relationship with her and uh, allow us to be a part of it. It's such an honor to be a part of walking through a healing process with somebody that has so much to work on, but that they know that they can lean on Unbound to help them through that. I think what this survivor story really shows us is that no one um, individual's survivor story are the same. And they're, you know, we kind of have this image of what human trafficking looks like, and it's not always what we think. And the majority of the time, it's at the hands of somebody that the individual knows very well, um, whether it be a family member or somebody they're in a dating relationship with. And um, we also know that the healing journey is never linear. Um, there's setbacks, there's um, different things that come up from the past, and what Unbound and our advocates really want to do and be available for is to really walk with this individual hand in hand through the ups and downs um, to help them walk in healing and restoration and hope and it takes all of our partners coming together and doing something. It takes the community being aware of it. It takes our partner agencies working in collaboration on these cases. It, it takes our advocates who are filled with compassion and understanding um, to be there consistently through all of the ups and downs of the healing journey. Um, but. Human trafficking is something that is happening right here in our own backyard and we need to be aware of it and we need to understand that it doesn't always look like what we see on movies and TV shows, but it's a real human being that's suffering right here and there's an opportunity to engage and, and be a source of light for that person.